Feels like we're recording in a fucking crack den right now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's unfortunately. Fucking, and honestly, I'd, I'd I'd usually be pretty pissed about it, but to be honest, I'm a little high. Got some Five Guys. Played some Valorant today. I'm I'm watching a Ken. I just, I just watched someone get shot and die. It's a pretty uh, eventful day. Yeah. Oh. So I'm having fun. I think that's it. We're done. We're done recording. I mean, that's, that's mm-hmm. like you summed up your whole day. Hey, that's a podcast episode right there in itself. I mean, honestly. What, Realistically, the whole point of it is just to talk, just to update things. That's, that's, that's the update. Ah, dude. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I think this looks fucking phenomenal right now. I'm so excited when we start doing it again. Yeah, don't talk about that, bro. That's not interesting. I'm just I'm just laying down the groundwork to let people get excited. You know what they should be really excited about? What? You know what everybody should be fucking psyched out of their minds about? How um, yesterday we came to the conclusion. First off. Showtime Lakers, amazing. Lakers dynasty winning time, fantastic. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, I'm just eating this food, bro. This is the first time I've ever eaten on a podcast. This is a, uh, this is like first time I've been on. A po- it's liberating as shit, dude. I actually feel like I can talk about what I want to talk about now. No, I feel comfortable. Silences don't feel that hard because it's like I'm because uh, I'm eating food. I think we cracked the code. Can you think? Can you hear me chewing? That's pretty cool. I'm not wearing headphones, so I can't hear anything. Oh, there's probably some guys who are. Uh, Listen right now, we're like into that. They're like, ooh, well, they some hard action. Yeah, so you know what I'm really psyched in my mind about? Oh, yeah, yeah. What everybody should be psyched out of the mind yeah. about? The fact that last night when we were watching um YouTube, the YouTube Zio, uh, we decided to, um, we were like, we should just you start, you know, just doing some sketches. We'll be one of those guys. That's pretty exciting. That's true. So we're going to look out for that. And you're thinking, like, that's stupid. No, 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 no. It's going to be fucking cool. That should make cool sketches. That's true, but that's not what I'm referring to. I have something specifically that, like I just been psyched out of my mind about. Like it's been a while since I've felt this good about something. Um, or that our audience should feel this good. Rather, I'm quoting the line, so I'm saying I. But the audience should feel this good. Ah, uh, tomorrow's a special day. Tomorrow's a very special day. What's today? The twenty third. Yes. Tomorrow's twenty fourth. Yes, it is. Um. Twenty fifth, the day after. There's something oh, special. Oh, so tomorrow's the twenty fourth. Yes, so there's something that occurs on the twenty fourth. That should be particularly exciting. November. For listening. Yes, November happens every year in November. In fact, it's every year in November on the twenty fourth. Thanksgiving. Close. It's my birthday, you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm getting. You a know what's little, really cool though? What's that? You know what's that? Thirteen days later. My birthday, exciting. motherfuckers. That's not as exciting, though. Cause <laughs> That's mo- way more exciting. Cause mine's the here and the now. Yours is 13 days from now. Well, 14 right, right. Days. Yours is two weeks from now. Mine's tomorrow. And you motherfuckers need to start earning your keep to be s- listeners of this podcast. Yeah. I'm getting a little tired of pulling everybody's weight here listening to oh, it yeah. on my own. I oh listen to these episodes constantly. No one else listens to them, apparently. Dude, I, had I had such a funny bit. I had such a funny bit that I might actually just read it verbatim. I got to find it. I don't know. I hope I wrote it down. I was laughing at myself last night thinking about it, about just like how I'm just going to just like really start selling this. Like, you guys got to give us your fucking money. It was a really good one. Podcast notes. Hold well, on. I, I did get us there. another uh, listener today. Really? Yeah, I told someone about it and they started listening to it immediately. That's fucking And that's then I immediately rad. panicked in case I said something I shouldn't have said. I do that. I say a lot of negative things. I say things on here that I know are going to cause shit. This, is what this isn't what I was going to say, but this is just something I wrote down also, apparently, which I now remember, but I forgot it entirely, which is pretty pretty great, actually. It's almost like I'm journaling things in the moment. It's less notes, more journal, which is kind of beautiful in itself. That is pretty beautiful. I said, new level of smoking just now. I felt like my balls had powder on them, and they got so warm. Never happened before. Kind of liked it. Pretty sick. <laughs> Then I thought. I, then I tasted pulled pork and thought I was having a stroke. Not as sick. That's the note I wrote down. <laughs> That's a really good note. I thought I was having a stroke three weeks ago. Uh, I have a burger still, bro. This is sick, dude. Five guys really hooks up with the fries. When we were playing Risk, yeah, they do. It's a little insane. We dude, playing- I forgot I even had a burger. Like, just, just, I guess you give me a bag of fries. That's cool. I assumed you scarfed it down already. That's really offensive. Um, when we were playing Risk the first and the warning popped up with the whole seizure thing. Warning. This yeah, yeah. show contains graphic stupidity before my four lifelong friends who can who be too embarrassed each, each other. other. Nice. Is that what you're going to say? No. No. I have the seizure warning. I didn't even know I knew that. I committed to that bit without realizing I could say it all. I've never ever uttered that before. And I was like, wait, whoa, it's flown out of me right now. Your, your face did reveal the uh, the surprise halfway through. It was like when Harry Potter starts speaking Slytherin. He's like, what the fuck? That's what you looked like. I was going to say or, that. Or the, when... Um, when uh, Brendan Fraser's like, I don't speak Spanish. Oh my god, I speak Spanish. In um, bedazzled, bedazzled, yeah. 
look, 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 at my, look, look at my face. This is, a, this is a sad one for the listeners only that they can't see my delicious burger right now. I'm about to just chew it. loud. And then we're getting into a new audience demographic. That's the Patreon ASMR content. Ooh, baby, those peppers are spicy. Yeah, oh yeah. I got you a bunch of peppers. Fuck it, you get me, bro. I was like, yo, just surprise me, man. I got you jalapeno peppers, green uh, peppers, uh, uh, whatever their hot oh, sauce yeah. is, plus their barbecue sauce. Whoa. And grilled onions. Whoa, that's wild. And I think I asked for the grilled mushrooms. But grilled mushrooms? That's remember, crazy. I don't remember if I did, though. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Every bite, just the explosion of flavor. Whoa, that's the flavor. Whoa, that's good. Sponsored by Five Guys. I'm pretty fucking... Dumb. And Dairy Queen. You know what we'll do? We'll still from Gibbons in the morning, too. We'll do um food, whatever the food challenge with those long-ass names. And we'll be like, whoever wins this gets to sponsor us next episode. <laughs> See, that's really the problem. We're not stealing enough ideas from other people who already have established ideas that clearly work. We're bro. trying to be creative and think of ideas. What the fuck's the point of that? I would f- mm, bro. I wish I was experiencing the joy you're feeling right if now. If I was asked to choose between, like... I don't know, man. This is fucking life right now. I think I... You know what? I have an idea. In the vein of stealing things from people, let's steal from television, you know? And we'll, but instead of stealing it, we'll bring it to a new medium via life. I, for five guys... For a, life, for a lifetime of free Five Guys burgers. And I mean fucking, like, double bacon cheeseburgers. I don't want that little, little bullshit. All right? With all toppings and everything else, saying. I'm just saying. I'm, but, I'm, but I'm just saying it. I will sign over my firstborn son to the company in the community fashion, where it's just Subway's a person, and I will actually be the first person to birth a product placement or help birth. So how would that work name wise? Then would his name just be Five, five guys. guys? Would it be Five Guys Yurisits? Oh, no, 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 no. I'd be signing over like his human existence. So would you raise him, or the day he's born, he's just there as a a, a tool of marketing? Well, he'd be raised under the guise as if I was raising him for like. So you get like weekend public? visits and shit. No, 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 no. no. You said the guys as if you're raising him. That's why. That's like, that's like, that's like the media storyline. They're okay. going to say, oh, he's living, and he lives... They're going to do like, the whole thing where it's like, oh, it's a bubble, like maybe like a bubble boy kind of thing at first. Okay, now it's making more sense. So he can't see anyone, like another another homage. This is good, this is good. Now I'm on board with this plan. Whoa! That's good. Oh! But yeah, something like that. Just like a whole big, long calm to where he's like, in, in the community, where he's like Subway. He's like, yeah, no, Subway is amazing food. And it's just, he, he's a person who embodies the brand. So... I don't remember the episode. He has to then just Whoa! casually in conversation bring it's up good. five guys all the time. Mm-hmm. He has to just casually imagine how good their burgers are. Mm-hmm. Can't have sex, can't drink, can't have children, can't have a life. Yeah, this sounds pretty fucked to do to your kid. I don't know if I'm bored this anymore. He's a corporate weapon. Entity. Entity, sure. Hey, legally we can't call him a human. Well, he's legally not. Yeah. Um, And you know what? You throw in fucking... Unlimited fries, milkshakes, um, hell, hot dogs. Let me and let me make a sandwich item, like a menu item. I'll, I'll give you fucking five guys you can do this with. How about that? I'll sign over five children. Now you're thinking before you're using a little brand. Now it's power. brand. Now it's brand recognition. Now oh, there's actually five guys who run five guys. And also, and all five of them can be like, did you guys know if we all went? No, together? no, 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 no. Listen, dude, listen. This is actually really smart. So I'm, I'm basically just here farming, farming, um, you know, puppets, right? Mm. They're not per- they're not persons, they're puppets. So I'm thinking I get five puppets, sell them to five guys, right? Since they're not, since they don't have any human rights, okay, mm. they don't have any say in what they do, or they they have no, they're nothing, they're they're meaningless, right? So what I'm thinking is that five guys can just appoint them to be like, oh, CEO, CFO, COO. And they're just basically essentially paid actors, but they have no actual, like, personal identity. Mm-hmm. So they can kind of, like, build their brand around the actual five guys who own the place. And that's creating a whole story and a narrative. Mm-hmm. It's a whole thing, though. That's adding layers to people. And then you can have it. And also, it's like, you, and, you know, you're controlling them. So it's like you can start doing them. You can start 
churning out such a profit, like, you know, exploit these guys, have them go around town. They're not people. They're not going to be collecting the money. You're collecting the money. So have them go on visits like the Ronald McDonald's stuff. Have the guys dress up as them. They don't get paid for the service. They the, just... the people I signed over? Yeah. No, I I, they, no like... they're not. They're not. They're not. They, they, it says, is it, they are, like, one step below having a pet. Okay. I did not understand the full. These uh... are these corporate, like, ploys. So, question. You're putting a lot of humanity into this figure. So that's my, that's my follow-up question. Then You know the whole wild child thing where they found that kid in, like, the forest and he acted like an animal and they had yeah. to like, rehabilitate him? Mm-hmm. Do you think the adverse would happen with these the, the, your, your five children who are now no longer going to be children? They're just going to immediately be products of a... Do uh, you think that they're would have some psychological change? I, I prefer to call them transactions. So do you think these transactions would even realize that they're... Where at one time people, they would just always think they're transactions and never have any intellectual property past that point? Um... Whoa! It's good. Ah, huh, it's crazy, man. What you put on this? Uh, jalapeno peppers. Bro, you're wild. Thanks. Yeah, that's all. I, that's all I put on there. It's Jalapenos. Actually, it's all that's on there. Actually, it's not even a burger. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty good. And bacon. Is there some bacon on here? There is bacon. I got your bacon cheese. Is this bread? You're Believe crazy, not, man. Whoa. Whoa. I picked the worst no shave November to partake in because my beard's so fucking bushy now. I took two bites of my burger Whoa! before, snapped in half, and I just had everything over my face. I was stuck in my beard. It was fucking disgusting. I ate that burger pretty fast. Yeah, you did. That was uh, three minutes, I think, it took you. Oh, man. That's so good. You have fries still? Oh, yeah. My, um... I think I might have just sterilized myself with how warm this bag was on my cock. I think it'll be fine a little bit. I don't know, man. Ah! All right. What are we talking about? We really weren't. You were kind of just making noises the whole time. Talk, about, talk about how you're going to sell you know, your five the, you know, transactions. To be. Yeah, you're not doing it 100% right, so I can't tell so what it is. Mean. It's so close, though. All right. What is it? Nah, I'll, I'll just let it slide. Well, what? No, I need to know. You know. Now they need to know. You need to know shit. It's fucked up. Well, let's see if I have any other great notes in here, man. I'm just thinking, like, you know, why, don't, why I, I can just I can just have notes. I had an interesting thing I wanted to bring up. Um, Dirk, is that his name in, in Letterkenny? The douchey boyfriend they beat the yeah. shit out of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him a lot, actually. He yeah, was in. This isn't that good of a point. No, it's a great point, actually. I'm bringing talk, it up. Talking about Hallmark. No, 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 really no, what it's it is. actually a great point. It's, yeah. a, it's actually a great fucking point. I mean, shut okay. the fuck up. Yeah. All right. He's in a Hallmark movie called Three Wise Men and a Baby. Yes, yeah, not Three Men and a Baby. Three Wise Men and a Baby. And he, however, though, when he's mm-hmm. acting, he acts. You know, every Hallmark person is like, oh, "I'm on Hallmark, so I'm going to act like I'm on Hallmark." Yeah. He doesn't do that, and it's really jarring to watch the movies because the entire scene is everybody else has their own homework, and then all of a sudden he walks onto the frame, and he's acting like he's acting. Mm-hmm. It's really unsafe. See, that's not fair, Alex. That was a decent thing I brought up about someone's acting, and you're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't care. I want to get back on making noise and talk about I'm selling my five children's transactions to the five guys. I'm not going to have any fucking children. There's going to be these properties. That no, I'm going to have kids after that. Oh, so you're, oh, that's fucked up, man. This is the first five I'm giving away for financial. Well, that brings yeah. up my point before then. Are they even going to be able to have you seen Blade Runner? that? No. Have you seen Blade Runner? No. Never, all right. Never seen Blade Runner. Never mind then. Continue. No, oh, what's your point? You haven't seen Blade Runner. I've seen Blade Runner, asshole. Everybody knows I've seen Blade Runner. That's like my thing. I say, hi, I'm Robbie. I've seen Blade Runner. Have you seen Blade Runner? You said no. Because you were with me when we saw it in the theaters. So, so I was being yeah, sarcastic. You know, I, you know I, this is actually kind of cool. You know, I actually saw that in a double feature where it was Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049 in Easton. That's crazy. You know what I did? Same thing. I saw it in Easton also. I thought you didn't see it. I did see it. I saw it with you. <laughs> I was the guy next that to you. That was you, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Speaking of that, though, that's a good memory, right? I'm running out of notes. It's a of great just, memory. You're going to cut me off the whole, the whole episode or just, just for a little bit of it? Just when I feel like cutting right. it off. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, as far as like just random little memories like that, I've been running on those. I went on a random like tangent like probably a week or two ago. Cool story. Just writing down random uh, tidbits, right? All right, fine, Robbie. If you got something better, you can. You can <laughs> I don't. Better, fine, I don't. But I'm gonna be a dick. Say, think about some of these fucking. Um, I'm just gonna say like these little. No, I did. My homework story was good. You're an asshole. These little subheading there. These little blips. Okay. Remember asking for Christmas on a Christmas list for those um big ass statues of Superman and Batman from the Smith Haven Mall. No. And we were done like a total of, like 49 other superheroes and like weird ones like Dove and shit. Like we want like a life size cut out of Dove. It was right what? after we got the fucking Triple H thing. And the Undertaker thing, and then we saw those cool like statues in the mall at that one store that had the Superman pose. And it was like it was like the animated cartoon drawing Superman, it was, like a statue of him that was like probably like five and a half feet, six feet tall. I can imagine my excitement seeing this with you, and I can remember how I would have felt at the time you're describing, but I have no memory of seeing this thing at all. All right, well, hey, you know, I guess I, I guess it I, sounds I like a pretty cool time. That, that was the one blurp you gave. What's the next one? One by a ghost. What's that, Robbie? 
That's that dumb YouTube video we used to watch. Yep. Psst. Hey, what about a ghost? Robin, can you hear me whistle? Same well, thing. I think that might have been the first video. I think might have been the first YouTube video we ever watched. Yeah, I think it probably is too, which is kind of Robin, crazy. if you can hear me whistle. I don't even know that I don't even know that is who it's from. Which funny about that though is both things you just quoted, those are the only things that made us laugh the entire video. I don't think I liked any one of those videos. They sucked. Those are idiot cousin. Our stupid moronic fucking dumb fucking loser idiot cousin. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Not gonna say anything there, buddy. Just gonna, uh, I was going right, to my right, left, right. sounded too weird. So I'm, like, I'm just gonna leave that laugh linger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here's another, here's another random uh, old trivial fact I remember from our childhood. Uh, remember when our parents actually gave a shit? <laughs> no, not really. Remember when I pissed on you in a subway? That I do remember. <laughs> that one, you remember, you little fucking weirdo. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the story. Actually, we're in subway. Which you one? tell the story. Because I don't remember any of the details leading up to why you pissed on me, other than just right. you pissed on me. So, so you can tell the then story. Then why did you actually. so declaratively decide you were taking the initiative to because tell the story? Because that moment, I remember clearly. I remember standing. That's really there. interesting that you cherish this memory Shut up, of okay. me pissing on you so much. Where everything else you forgot, I don't remember that at all. But I'm like, remember I pitched you like, oh yeah, that's what you said. I said no, literally, we can play it back. I was like, Robbie, you remember when I piss on you at someone? You're like, oh yeah, well, that's the episode. Robbie likes when Alex pisses on him. That's the name. So, again, you're just like you want you want to just cat like that's the fact that you're just like we should really celebrate. It's like you're just you're really into it, dude. I'm so into it. That's fucking really weird. Well, now you know. <laughs> I'm glad you can accept me. When did you like this? When did you discover that, that was like your thing? That moment, actually, that was the first time I got pissed on. That's when I realized it meant well, everything. Okay, <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> I was gonna like give you a. Pl- I thought you were gonna be like, yeah. I think it was when I was watching like horrible bosses. Just some of Ian Grufford. I was like, I can get into this. I never even would have drawn to that conclusion. Wow. Well, can't all be winners, you know. Not every at bat's gonna be a home run. Some are grand slams. <laughs> Put some gravy on that tater. We got ourselves a grand slam. That was a good fucking reference. I'm surprised yeah, you said that. That's the bigs, man. That was a good fucking game. That's a great game. Then they had the second one too, and it was stupid. And then they stopped making those, and it just became MLB the show. So we're at Subway next to the Coles oh, yeah. and Rocky so it's Point. So yeah, on, on 25A, damn, I have my phone volume on. I just closed my phone screen. It was the loudest ever. Nice. Anyway, we're at Subway at the 25 off the 25A. Um, and we walk in there. You know, it's 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 a, it's a very it's a very like Subway cart. Subway, it's a very thin, narrow, and long. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it, actually. It, where it's like you walk in, and there's a couple, it's like maybe like eight feet wide. There's I always love the wallpaper, though, though. The green wallpaper and yellow wallpaper. No, 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 no. That's, I don't know if the all subways is just that one had it, but that one had like the old like newspaper kind of like thing yeah. where you kept seeing like newspaper like clippings and shit. Yeah, so that, so the fan, we walk past the fantastical wallpaper and newspaper clippings, and we go into the bathroom, and Robbie's wearing shorts, and I'm pissing in the sink, and I was like, bro, you want to see a 360? And Robbie was apparently into the cut, yes. But the time he was... I, like, I said, Alex, I've been waiting for my entire life <laughs> someone to ask Well, no, 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 because at the time, I'm just learning this now, so at the time, you, you you played face. You were like, no. But inside, you were like, yes. Yeah, I was better at acting back then. Yeah. Interesting. But, um, so I just, I kind of just said one of those you know, little, little, it's a little, just, you know, twist of the left, twist of the right, a little jumpy jupy. And I, what I don't little, remember, I, remember I remember, like, gave the, I think I did, like, two spins, I think, realistically. Maybe even three. I think I, like, went... I remember like the... whipping it on, onto your shins. I remember... I pissed all over your shins, into your socks, into your shoes. I don't remember the third... Okay. But what I do remember, though, is you weren't... It's not like we were sharing the fucking toilet aiming, playing sword fight. You were behind me. Whoa. Was there two was... urinals and you just decided to walk away and piss on me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, because now it makes sense. You were behind me the entire time. What were you doing standing behind me pissing? Yeah, but in my defense, I was like seven. So you were like 13, 12. Why were you getting pissed on, dude? You were, you were, I was, you were a bitch. Uh, that's, that was my sexual awakening a, when I got pissed on at 12 whoa. and 13. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, you're crazy, man. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing. <laughs> you sound like somebody, though. Hey, whoa! Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're playing a little too much into this. I just want to get the record straight. I don't want to get pissed on. I don't like getting pissed on. Yeah, uh, the record had you would have had it straight in that record about twelve minutes ago, and you chose not. Oh, to. Oh, because we're so, way too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's sweet. already been decided upon, dude. That's going into your obituary. It says like golden shower enthusiast Robbie Urisitz. You know how like politicians and actors Whoa! have like things from their past come back and haunt them. Yeah, I feel like this is probably the thing that haunts. Yeah, me. I think I'm getting into politics, man. Really, I'm getting into politics, dude. Just fucking. Why not just start, like, a fucking fascist regime? See, I've thought about that millions of times, but no. Mm. But actually, that's not true. I thought about getting into politics millions of times. I never thought about getting into the fascism yeah. of politics. Now, now that you're saying something I never even thought of before. This might be the... That could be the ticket. 
you know, that's probably why I'm so fucking angry all the time. Because I do because, whatever he tells me to do. Mm, exactly. Instead of doing what it's, I tell them yep, to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. This is so cool. listen, assholes. <laughs> fucking Subscribe pay on our Patreon, Patreon already. already. Give us fucking money. I asked you once. I asked you twice. I'm Wipe fucking telling fucking you. fucking face off your head, bitch. Okay? And give us your fucking money. <laughs> I reference that so much lately. And it's just... That falls on deaf ears every time, man. Can you believe I didn't like her? Yeah, you're a fucking... You know, you're a fucking... Z- you're a fucking decimal point. Honestly, you why fucking did I hate dick. so many good things at the onset? You hate... Because I don't know. You're just a fucking asshole, dude. Apparently, you love getting pissed on first thing. That's probably But everything why. else, you're like, I fucking hate this. Parker Posey isn't the most attractive person ever. Gosh, she's perfect. Fucking, I was at Five Guys. <sighs> obviously, hence this game, the Five Guys. And trying to make small talk. You know what I always do with small talk? If it's not a clear give and take in the conversation, I'm doing all the heavy lifting... Excuse me. I fall into fucking talking about negative shit. Mm. Like, I was like, yeah, I kind of regret I didn't do this because it could have been so much better at times. Like, why is my default setting just all of a sudden an asshole? But I don't realize I'm doing it until I tell this third negative story and I'm like, well, fuck, I'm a downer. Why am I doing this? Because you're a fucking asshole. Who likes getting pissed on? Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, I don't like that. No, dude. That. Again, even if you don't, man, you've already solidified your state. Yeah, I'm kind of, I, I am sincerely concerned now. Now it seems like I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I oh, remember. We're done, here, no, we're done. We're done. Here's we're a memory. Done. Here's a memory I got. Here's another, I got a couple more. It's gonna last probably the next forty episodes. It's gonna make me go no by no like, like the fucking semen Job's doing the, Michael's list of ideas one by one. Um, <laughs> the next forty one episodes just me. It's not even you talking to me. Hey, remember this? Hey, remember this? Hey, remember, remember, remember this? I know I've said this daily now. I'm so glad I like that show. Yeah, no. Again, you hated Richard Development. You hated Parker Posey. You fucking hated Pickles, dude. Pickles? Yeah, he used to hate pickles, bro. He used to be a little bitch. Like, Why is uh, there a pickle in my burger from McDonald's? Yeah, why is there I, a pickle in my burger from McDonald's? I hated mustard. Uh, why is there mustard and pickles on this burger? Audience. And you'd be like, Mother, would you please turn around? No, I never and you're like, that. I want a new burger. You used to do that all the fucking time, dude. Yep. And you were like, Is it time to uh, get pissed on yet? And, the, and <laughs> bro, those are my two things these days. Bro, you're, you're, you sure you want to shed this persona? It seems like you're really holding on to dear life for it. Hey, we all have to fucking be something, right? Like, yeah. like, like Michael Jordan's great at basketball. That looks dumb now. Oh, me, the guy who married a black bear. <laughs> like, like Michael Jordan's great at basketball, right? You're funny. I get pissed on. It's my thing. That's like we all have our things. You know, that's that's my thing. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I like self deprecation as a humor, but like yeah, I'm going a little fucking little, little weirdos. Are you like yeah, like self deprecation? Since I said that, you're gonna fucking <laughs> you like say that. being degraded, dude. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> I get degraded every time we're on here. Yeah, it's my thing. You tell me you're getting off on the cast, dude. Yeah, I jerk off every time <laughs> we're done. Well, no, dude, we go hang out after this shit, bro. We hang out for like at least an hour. I don't use my hands. <laughs> You're just like clasping your fucking, <laughs> fucking thighs left and right. No, it's all mental. I just knocked over so much to get that bit done. Yeah, it looks it looks like a crack down in here. It does look like a crack, which is a shame here, dude. because I yesterday I told you how this all looks. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna get. I feel like honestly, like I might get stabbed being in here. Is the light on in there? What the hell is that, bro? What? No, it's not. That's dude. There's no fucking way. This is a reflection of something. Of what? Somehow. I don't know. Stop Dude, this is a fucking. We're gonna get. This is like fucking, the wire. Mm. This is wild. I don't know if it's like the wire. I'm not even sure how you're making that comparison. Know, man, because we're in Baltimore. Based on what? Crackiness. Based on what? The crackiness, but cracked ends, and just I could see. I could, I could just see this room having, it, 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 not moving a single thing to make space. The exact clutter we have right now, where everything's kind of thrown around the middle and just fucked up. I could see eleven people doing crack in here. Yeah, probably. I What's probably. us sitting here, just like lying in that corner over there? One's probably up against the wall. One's probably jacking off in the corner. One's probably, two of them are probably, I say 11. Four of them are probably dead already. Is that included in the 11 or is 11 plus the four dead bodies? No, I feel like 11, four of the 11 would have, well, maybe honestly, even five. Someone probably squeezing someone's in the fucking really. closet. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, gonna say someone's in the fucking heater for sure. Hey, man. I went to, um, I went to Weiss today. Yeah, so that I was blazing, dude. Yeah, dude. Speaking of which, people were looking at me, like, man, and I, I was like, "Oh, fuck. this is gonna sound like I'm just kissing your ass off and right." But, dude, this is a good look on you. Thanks, man. Like, I feel like I finally, even though she fucked up my haircut, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. She constantly does, but she gives me like little fucking wing tips. <laughs> yeah, and it takes like three weeks for my hair to go back to normal. And Same, I fucking dude. hate it. Also, my hair looked great up until I got a cut. Honestly, I shouldn't even got a cut. Yeah. It was way too long and it needed to get cut. But like, it's so flat on time now because this fucking. 
the fuck? Dude, I'm so... I just literally took off my earbuds. I was like, I'm not able to hear him talking. Fuck, I got to put him back in. I was like, oh, wait, no, no, no. You're singing in front of me. I don't need... Yeah, I can hear you fine. My point is, mine is my hair looking like shit right now. This is my look. I finally got my look. Your look is wearing a Sharon Williams hoodie? No, just... I'm talking about neck up. Oh. Thick beard. Nothing on the sides. A little bit of messy on top. If you want to do like a you know a two for one kind of thing where it's selling transactional children to Sherwin and which their logo implies they'd be into that. Yeah, honestly, for those of you who don't know the Sherwin Williams thing, it's, it's satanic. Yeah, it says cover the earth. It endorses the occult. It says our slogans cover the earth, which is fucking disturbing. And also, to think why do you guys levels. choose blood red paint? Exactly. Nobody paints Pick their walls green. that you color. Green would have been green. Would've been like, oh, that's nice. It's like environmental. Exactly. Blue. Also, oh, you know that's not cool. good. Latex. You don't want to just pour that all over the place. That's not good. No. Yeah, you guys are monsters, man. Also, you know what's even crazier than that? I shouldn't be. I can technically get fired for talking about this shit. So this I is pretty mean, fucking this is, this scandalous is, this right is now. This is pretty severe. I had in my orientation stuff. I had to go through a whole history of the company and everything. So I, one of the videos they should have went through, like kind of like their the the evolution of the logo. They used to have essentially one of the fucking Nazi eagles on yeah. top of the fucking yeah, 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 covering dude. the earth. Just yeah, where the SWAT sticker was, imagine the earth being covered in red paint. That's essentially what Sherwin Williams' logo was like around World War II. And then, you know, Sherwin Williams actually has it there. there it's like the whole Dachshund Freisen Revolution and everything else. Yeah, it's a little yeah. crazy. Then the Nazis lost, so they changed it. I know. Yeah. But everyone always says, I'm not going to say that, actually. I don't want Sherwin Williams to be like, guys, you're pushing a little too far. We'll take the first bit of Nazi jokes, not the second bit of Nazi jokes. All right. There's only so many Nazi jokes we can take as a company. <laughs> but yeah. Woo! Um, you know what's interesting about this company, though? I actually, I've shit on this company a lot. I have to say something pretty nice about them, actually. Yeah, we gotta balance it out. Well, we're, we're a little degrading own. kink and a little praising kink. I see you. Yeah, yeah, well, I told them I wanted to quit. They were like, how about you don't? Because we're kind of short staff. We kind of need you to stick on around for a little bit. And then they're like, how about we give you a raise? Yeah. How about you stay? I made a raise after I was gone for five weeks. Who, what other fucking place does yeah. that? Desperate losers. I feel pretty good right Desperate now. When I realized I got a, they didn't tell losers. me either. I also just happened to see my pay stub. It was higher. I'm like, whoa. You're like, whoa. Actually, they did tell that's, me. They told me like a week crazy. afterwards. Yeah, it well, is crazy. Whoa! I felt like a million bucks. Like that's not the number that was there last time. You know what I want to do with that raise? Pay someone Buy to piss on dr- me. Oh yeah. End of the episode. Dude, that not, was a nice circle. Not the end of the episode, bro. That's oh. disgusting. Okay. You fucking bro. You want? That's what you want to your no, hard money with? I don't. But I thought that'd be a funny way to circle back and just conclude. Oh, that was pretty funny, man. Yeah, but I just hey. don't understand why the fuck you think you ever get to say the last word on this podcast. I don't know. All right. Well, we already established I shouldn't start You think start you open episodes. or close these fucking things? I think I could close it you think occasionally. You, can, you think you can say... What you, not, you, oh, my maybe, God. Yeah, you're maybe so you can right. close it occasionally. No, you're right. I can't you think close you can it. Fuck, you no, think no, you no. can fucking just say it's over when it's over, dude? The one fucking time I closed it, you lost it on me. You're right. I'm not allowed to fucking close yeah, or start. The one time I lost on you is because you closed it as I was talking. That's not true. And I was like, all right, fuck you, dude. You know, man, we're ending it now because I, I said so.